Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to give you a few ways to fix not being able to hear the audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's get started. Here's my sequence. It's playing and you can see the audio here, but I cannot hear it at all, even if I turn my audio way up. The first fix is the one that works for probably 90% of people. And that is to go up here to Premiere Pro settings. If you're using an older version of Premiere Pro, this will be under preferences. It'll either be here in this list or it'll be under edit if you have a PC. So I'll go to Premiere settings or preferences and we'll come down here to audio hardware. And then for the default input, choose no input and then say yes. Then I'll say okay. And that should fix your problem. Now it doesn't fix the problem for me, even though that is the most common issue for people. The second fix is to select everything in this sequence. Make sure you clicked into this section, then hit command A or control A to select all copy with command C or control C, then hit command N or control N to start a new sequence. I'm going to leave all these settings the same and we'll say, okay, and then I'll paste with control V or command V. Now I'm just making a new sequence to see if that fixes the problem. And this for me has fixed the problem. If this is also not working, the third fix is to make sure that on your audio track line, the letter M isn't highlighted like this. Unclick that because this is a mute button and make sure the letter S is also not highlighted. This is for solo track. If your audio is still not working, it might be time to reset your preferences in Premiere Pro. Now this is kind of a last resort because if you have any settings that you set up yourself that you really like, you are going to lose those and have to reset those back up. So to do this, I'm going to quit out of Premiere Pro and then I'll hold shift option command on a Mac or shift alt control on a PC and then start up Premiere again and then we'll get this reset options. I'm going to go ahead and clear media cache files and disable third party plugins and we'll continue. And this just resets everything back to factory settings. I've opened my project. This fix also didn't work for me, but the new sequence did, but hopefully one of these ways will have fixed it for you. All right. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.